need to get back to what is real, what is truthful, and what is viable to keep this planet alive. We're so distracted by our electronic communications and things like that, that we don't see the planet the same way we should. If we were able to see it and the reality, the fact of the matter is, is that we need to take care of this planet that we're living on. You know, all of the creations that we have want and desire and our desire for money, you know, capitalism, all kinds of stuff like that distracts us from what's happening on the planet. Space is the same thing. It triggers the imagination at the same level of going to the movies or any other form of entertainment. Going to see a concert, you name it, distracts you from what's going on. And I'm not saying that having people interested in space travel is a negative thing. It triggers the imagination, makes people want to create new materials and bring the technology up, which can transfer into benefiting people on Earth on the commercial market, new products and everything else, new materials, that kind of thing. Okay, here's the document that I was looking at, creating the simulated lunar surface. And it was done... University of California, Berkeley is involved in here, and the University of California is involved in this. Basically, it's how they put it together get the correct color to stop it from clumping using sand and all kinds of, you know, they're using clay and sand and whatever to get the color down there. So that's all fine and dandy. And then they're using. Yes, exactly. So, come on, all you guys who know these things. Where is this magic film? Let's have a few rolls of it. Can you find it? Do you know what it is? Would you recognize it if you saw it? Come on, guys. Let's hear from you. But it's not just that, though. It's these characters that come out and say, for example, like Brian Lawson, that I put up on this. So, I don't know what these guys are coming out with this magic coding that's supposedly on this Apollo film because there's nothing on that Apollo film. Yeah, there isn't. And if you wanted to use a UV...